I guess it's really true what they say that to forgive others, you must first forgive yourself. I just watched the part three to Family of Lies, uh, Fix My Life with Iyala, and I thought I would be like super hyper or like super down, and I'm gonna be honest, it's almost like this weight has been lifted, and I'm watching this and I'm going through this journey with them, this roller coaster, and these highs and these lows, and just from the first episode of just watching and just being floored by revelation after revelation after revelation and you know accusation and hurt and pain and everything and it's like I feel like I've kind of experienced this along with them. I'm, I'm applying a lot of what I'm saying with how I feel about my mother and how I have felt about her and I'm looking at the process and the steps that they've taken to initiate what they need to do to get on this path to heal. That's that's the biggest thing. One of the main things I took away from this is relationship and what that dynamic means. When this episode picks up, it picks up from last week when Alicia had reached her point where she had a lot of truth levied against her and there were a lot of things that were being rehashed. A lot of things were coming back up that had either been suppressed, not talked about, or just selectively forgotten, remembered, etc. She had gotten to a point where she's like, you know what, I'm not dealing with this. And then she storms off and she, she she's in this abandonment mode where I'm like, I'm not dealing with this, I'm gonna run away. I'm, I'm, this is the learned behavior that she's learned over the years, so this is where she is. When Iyala goes up there to confront Alicia, the mother, and, and this is something that's true. It's, it's cliche because they say truth hurts, right? And, and it's so cliche because we say, we hear these things, we hear these things, and until we actually experience it or when you're on the receiving end of some truth, then it's like, yeah, this <laughs> thing is kind of good, right? She sees her in the midst of her pattern and she goes up there to confront her. What I took away from her, her confrontation was she confronted her in truth, but then she was able to listen in love and, and I know that's gonna sound a little a little silly or whatever but it's like as, as, she, as she's allowing Alicia to like talk about how she says I can't believe the lies I can't believe they're acting like they're lies you're acting they're presenting like their lies are just so perfect and and, 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 and and this is someone that's acting as if she's being attacked and when you're dealing with a dramatic individual when you're dealing with someone that knows drama and they know you know nothing but highs and lows and they just know that they just that's what they know sometimes you have to bring drama to them you have to be as dramatic as them because if there's no flair attached to it it's just not going to be at the level that they need it to be for you to even get their attention let alone trying to get them to receive something you try to flag somebody down on a busy ass highway and you're trying to get them to slow the hell down so when she's becoming frustrated and angry with her daughters for perceive as in her perception of they're not being truthful Iyala is like even if that's how you feel you taught them this is what you passed down to them. This is what you instilled in them. And she's telling her, this is not what you want to do. This is not what you want to do. And she's like, well, I can't take this. I can't deal with this. This is not. And she says, okay, well, I need you to articulate it. And this is when I'm really beginning to understand some of this method to the madness um, y'all had for this family. Because it's like, they had had such a long history of not telling the truth not saying what something actually is. So you can say you've moved on. You can say you're in a better place, but your behavior will always tell the truth. Your actions, your behavior, it denotes everything. Because at this point, they're all in breakdown. They're all, Alicia's feeling attacked. She's got her defenses up. They're all levying how they really feel. They're finally saying what they haven't been able to say for years. They're all in the same place. So everybody is at who they are. All the behavior that they learned, they're their true selves at this moment. So Keisha, the peacemaker, is like, look, you know, I want you to really understand. It's like if you keep leaving, if you don't sit here, if we don't fix this, how can we heal? We transit to the next day. This is when Iyala is speaking with Alicia because she's trying to really... There's a lot that she's trying to get her to understand and she's trying to just she's working with her. And basically she's just trying to get her to understand why she felt the need to leave this time and what was what was she so angry about. When you get down to it, Alicia feels attacked. She feels like they don't appreciate what she did. In her mind, 
decisions that she made and choices she made, she did because she felt like either she wasn't in a position to be a mother, she felt like she wasn't in a position to give them what they needed, she felt like she did the best she could, and that there was good that was done. And they're not appreciating that. And, and, and they're not, they're not, they don't thank her for that. And that hurts her. At this point, that's when something struck a light bulb. One of the people that commented on the video last week was speaking about, a lot of people aren't thinking about what the mother is going through. They're not understanding her point of view. And I'm not going to lie. I was one of those people. I'm one of those people that was really being very critical of Alicia because I'm looking at a woman that is responsible for, for her children. And I'm looking at a woman that has done things in the past and has not owned up to them, has not been honest, and we're in a situation where we're all trying to heal, and everybody's trying to do what they need to do, and I'm seeing someone resistant. That's what I'm seeing. And I thought about it, and then as I'm watching this episode, and when I heard her say that, I'm thinking about how, you know, I could be unfair to my mom, because it's like, I'm, it's so easy for me to be angry, and it's so easy to, for me to remember. It's extremely easy for me to remember, you know, and... I never thought about, you know, am I thankful? Like, I already know what I don't like. I already know how I feel. I already know the, the years or whatever. And that's, that's just not going to go away. It doesn't require much effort because I, I know that. But am I even in a position to say thank you? Genuinely say thank you. You know, without in the back of my mind thinking, yeah, but. I'm being real. Or can I say I really appreciate it? Like, I, a relationship is good. But, you know, a lot of times I'm saying thank you and all that. But in the back of my mind, what I'm not saying is, yeah, but I just wish you could have. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah, I want to see how long you're going to stay clean now. That's mean. That's petty. That t I'm, the reason why I'm saying that I feel like I'm lighter and that I feel like I had a release is because I, I'm, I was spending so much time. I'm, okay, I'm just going to go off tangent a little bit. I'm watching this episode because it really resonates with me, my sisters, and our mother. And I'm sitting here, and it's so long, for so long, I've just been angry. I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine, and, and last night, and I said, I'm an angry man. I'm a very angry person. You know, I never articulated that I'm angry. I always would tell stories about people hurt me, and they hurt my feelings, and, you know, I always would, you know, give off. It was a victim vibe, and I never really shared that I was angry. I never even, I don't even think I told her that I was angry, honestly. So when I'm watching this and it's like, yeah, I'm angry, but it's like, am I even capable of forgiving? Am I even capable of being appreciative of what she did? Okay, that's when my light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, okay, I'm still having my issues because just vicariously, I'm, I'm going through this experience and I'm just going through flashbacks and I'm having memories and and I'm in this, I'm in this, and I'm in this interesting place right now. Like you find out that Shay is angry at her mother because her mother never told her that she that she had same sex you know relationships and that she had indulged in lesbianism you know whatever and she says she's angry because she never articulated that and the fact that they both ended up dating the same woman at a particular time then it's like wow there's an anger and a resentment because even and it's a it's an interesting their dynamic is interesting because even though they had the the, the, the dynamic of growing up and then she, she felt the way that she felt apparently they had gotten to a place okay like me and my mom where we're cordial and we're actually speaking and things are supposedly good but then this happened where alicia was dealing with this woman but never was being honest and never told shay Shay has, she's open about her sexuality and she's uh, angry with her mother because her mother was not. And she's like, if you would have just told me that not only was it that you dealt with women, but you were, you are angry with me for dealing with a woman that you dealt with. So see, this is what it is. This is the real, this is it right here. They're angry because they don't trust each other. They're mad at each other. They're being petty with one another because they're so alike. They're so alike. Shay is angry to the point that she gets to a point where not even Iyala can calm her down during her and Alicia's sit down. She's not even calling her mother. She's not calling her mom. She's not calling her mom. She's calling her Alicia. You get what I mean? And it's escalating because she, Alicia is saying that, you know, I, I didn't know. And, 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 you know, when I did find out and, you know, we all went over Keisha's house and we all, and she's like, are you going to sit here and lie? See, Shay's thing about it is, uh, is that her mother is lying. And Shay, for so long, has just dealt with just pain and anger and, and just resentment and just, just just what it is. 
that now she's in her comfortable place. She's in a comfortable place of, I'm angry, I'm going to fuck off. You gotta realize, this whole weekend, she's been getting let have it. Her daughters have been letting her have it. I mean, with the truth, with how they feel, with their experiences. And it's not like they're fabricating anything. They're just telling them, this is what it is. So when you have, when you're guilty of these things and these transgressions, and when you're, and when people are letting you have it, when they're dragging you like that, it, it, it it, it takes a lot to sit there and handle the truth. When Alicia stood up, because that's all she had. That's all she had against to levy against her daughter because she wasn't in a position of power. She was not in a position of strength. She was wrong. She was so wrong. And she knew she was wrong. And sometimes when you're wrong, you deny. Shay just goes off. And, and, and Alicia's like, I can't take this child by. And then, and then Shay just calls the mother a name and you lying ass bitch and all that, right? Sorry for the cussing, but... And then y'all, again, with just the ability to, to be in the moment, she's like, now, Miss Shay, I can't ever condone you calling your mother out her name. I can never condone, no matter how angry you are, no matter what happened, I can never condone the disrespect of your mother. As you're, and you're the, uh, I, I, I can never condone that. I will never accept that. Iyala gets a breakthrough from her because she was like, you need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself for expecting her to be somebody else that she's not. And that was when the other gut punch got me. This whole time, this whole time, I'm mad at my mother. I'm just mad at her. I'm just mad at her. I'm, I'm mad at her. I'm mad at her and I'm pissed off at her and I'm blaming her and I'm just so comfortable on my high horse. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just mad this whole time. And to be in that position where you have to realize that you need to forgive the, yourself for expecting something from someone that they're not. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's when she was like, you know, you, 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 she, she, she needs to apologize for that. You know, she needs to apologize for that. I thought that I could hold a grudge. I can hold, I, I, I'm adept at holding a grudge, but it's like, what is it? She's like, what has it gotten me? You know, she's like, what has it gotten you? You know, you relaxed out, you went back to your comfortable place and you don't put the divide right back to you. And what did they accomplish? They didn't accomplish anything. So, so they go back in and Shay is the one that approaches her and she apologizes for, for calling her out her name. And she apologizes for just disrespecting her. And she, she apologizes. And we start to see a dialogue. And we start to see conversation and communicating. And Alicia accepts that. She accepts it. And there was something that may be small to some, but it was huge to me when Shay said yes, ma'am, to her mother. Because she had been saying it to Iyala the entire time. No matter how mad Shay got, no matter how elevated her anger was, she always deferred to Iyala when she would say yes, ma'am. So the point of everything up to that point is for people to learn, for them to learn, for me to learn, that in the midst of a disagreement in the midst of a discussion, uh, 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 in the midst of sharing, telling your experience and being angry, you don't have to run away. And I want to say that this episode was about symbolism. There was a lot of symbolism in this episode from the from the time when Iyala found out that, he, that Alicia stayed and she didn't leave and she brought her white roses, you know, that white flag of surrender. You know, and she acknowledged that she appreciated her staying. So the fact that they're wearing the shirts that say forgive everyone for everything. Subliminal. The fact that, you know, she said, I want you not to stand on opposite sides like you're against each other. But I want you to know that even in the midst of your disagreements, you can be supported. That's powerful. Because now we're all, they're all getting to a part where they're understanding that it's, it's not about, you know... I'm, 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 I'm saying these things just to be saying it. Alicia finally got to a point where she could admit that she was mistaking her children's cries as an attack. They do this exercise towards the end. And 
She was like, I want you to tell them what you feel like you've passed along to your daughters. Now that you better understand. And, you know, she's talking about anger and guilt and resentment and, and all of these negative things. And so they're passing down these, um, these cinder blocks. And they're passing them around. More symbolism. And they're all holding up to two, three, four. And she's like, that's heavy. And this is what you all walked in with. So as they walked this, they're realizing that they walked in with it. This is powerful because this is not to fix them in a weekend. But when you can get to a point where you have an understanding and then you start to understand that there are new tools and you can work and build with new tools, then at least you understand. And she's like, when you get to those points where you start to remember this and you start to remember that pain, say, I, 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 I let that go. I have work to do in terms of how I can forgive myself and forgive people and forgive my mother. You know what I mean? I have work to do. I have work to stop expecting people to be what I create in my head and then being angry when they're not. Being angry at myself because I'm not. You know, I, I want to thank your family for sharing y'all's story. And I want to thank y'all for just allowing people like me to find themselves in this story because there's work to do. Let me know what y'all think. How did you feel about that? How do you feel about Shay and Precious and Keisha, Bianca, Marcia, Marquia? How do you feel? How do you feel about Alicia? How do you feel about their opportunity and their chance to continue the work and continue to really build new relationships? And what are you looking forward to if they do a follow-up? How does this apply to your life? Have you ever been in this situation? Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I want to say thank y'all very much for checking out the video. I'm going to talk to y'all next time.